What is the right way to handle a case when a 15 year old is accused of shooting an innocent young mother to death? Under Mike Freeman, the Hennepin County Attorney's Office was pursuing prosecuting two juveniles as adults for the death of a Brooklyn Park woman. Under Mary Moriarty, the office has now changed course following one of her campaign promises to reform juvenile prosecution. Lou Raguse talked with Moriarty and the victim's family. Lou? Julian Randy, this is where the rubber meets the road for Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty's philosophies for juvenile prosecution. She doesn't think adult prison is the answer, while the family of the innocent murdered woman strongly disagrees. We want justice. We want justice. Family and friends of Zaria McKeever are protesting a change in the prosecution of the people charged with killing the 23-year-old mother. It's not fair to the community. It's not fair to us. And we're victims, and they're treating them more better than they are treating us. Last fall, Zaria was shot to death in her apartment. According to court papers, her controlling ex, Eric Haynes, gave a gun to two teens, drove them there, and sent them inside. A 15-year-old allegedly pulled the trigger alongside his 17-year-old brother. If you do adult crime, you should do adult time. Prosecutors initially asked to certify the teens as adults to try all three in adult court for murder. But new Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty, who campaigned on juvenile prosecution reform, believes adult prison for the teens is not the answer. So we are following the science. Um, and as I said in the campaign, we need to treat kids like kids. Kids simply aren't small adults. Um, their brains aren't as developed. They're subject to peer pressure, um, risky behavior, manipulation by adults is what happened here. And they can be rehabilitated. Moriarty is still aggressively prosecuting Haynes, but now if the teens testify against him, they will go through a two-year rehab program at a juvenile prison and be released, supervised, with a suspended prison sentence held over their heads until they're 21. So I have great empathy for the family. As I said, I can't imagine what they're going through. We did listen. Um, I understand that they disagree with the decision, but ultimately we have to do what's right for public safety in this case. This is part of why we feel betrayed. They were more concerned about the welfare of those juveniles. They didn't even mention Zaria's name once. Zaria's family says they understand reform, but not for a murder case like this. I just hope that these boys and other people like them would not get out and be a repetitive criminal and do this to one of your loved ones. I pray to God it don't happen to you. Now, this is not a blanket policy for juvenile cases. Moriarty says they will still certify some juveniles as adults on a case by case basis. The plea deal for the two juveniles rests on their cooperation in the case against Haynes, and he's due back in court in two weeks. Randy. All right, Lou, thank you.